What's up everybody and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing Captain America's new shield from Avengers Infinity War. I can't release these files for free because I did purchase them from MZX Etsy shop and I will leave a link in the description for that. And I only did pay $6 for the files and I can honestly say that it's definitely worth it. The ending result is so cool and it definitely makes a really cool prop. I will also be leaving a link in the description for my Etsy shop where I have these shields for sale. So yeah, besides that, let's get to the video tutorial. Before we get started, I just want to say that if you guys like my work or you guys want to see the behind the scenes type of thing or my future projects or the projects that I've already done, you guys can check out my Instagram at Jesus Workshop and I have a lot of things there. And also, I want to see what you guys are building with me. If you guys are building the Iron Man suit with me or if you guys are building this Captain America shield with me, um, follow me on Jesus Workshop and upload your photo and use the hashtag GWS and then that way I can find it easier or if you guys can, can tag me in that photo it'll make it easier for me and then yeah I would love to check out your stuff but um yeah so let's just get back to the video then so once you buy the files and you download them you're gonna get something like this but before we can start printing these pieces out we have to go to file print and paper settings and I already changed mine but I moved it to letter because I'm in the US it depends where you're from you're gonna select your paper size so once you do that, you can um, start organizing these pieces and put them inside the boxes. I'm only going to grab these two sides because I can always just flip those pieces and get the opposite side so I can get rid of these. This piece right here is too big to fit inside the paper. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to click join this joint face and I'm just going to cut it across. That way I have two pieces but now they fit inside the paper and once I cut them off I can just tape these two pieces together like this and I can also tape this piece and make it one whole piece and then you can just move these little pieces inside the boxes So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check this box on top and get rid of the color. Then I'm going to click on the box right underneath, the one that says set edge color and I'm going to move that little line to about 100. Then I'm going to go to 2D menu and then join adjacent edges and change that to 1. Now I get rid of all those lines. So before we move on, I just want to say that we're going to be getting rid of this piece right here, um, right here this small one, because we're not going to need it. So I'm just going to set it here on the side and then I can print out the rest. So once you print everything out, the only thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect all these pieces together to make one whole piece. Instead of having three different pieces, we have one whole piece. So we're going to be starting with this piece and this piece is going to be part of the base part of the shield. So I'm going to be using 12 millimeter thick foam. So um, we can trace this piece and then we can flip it to get the opposite side. Okay, so here I have my right piece and then I have my left piece, the one I traced. And then for the right piece, you're gonna cut it, you know, how it's supposed to. Um, you know, no angle cuts, nothing like that. For the left piece, um, you're gonna cut both of the edges here. You're gonna cut them, you know, um, just straight cuts. But for this long one here, you're gonna have to do an angle cut. And so when you cut it, just put your exacto knife, uh, bend it a little bit this way. That way you do an angle cut and it, it ends like, you know, kind of, you have an angle cut. So um, I'm just gonna... So as you can see, I have a whole piece here, and this edge, you have an angle cut. So um, that way when we put these two pieces together, we're gonna have kind of like a, sharp, um, a curved piece. So for the middle pieces, I'm gonna be using six millimeter thick foam, and um, these two sheets should be enough for everything. 
and um so yeah just start tracing look in paper care designer that way you know how many pieces you need to trace like you only need the middle pieces and then you need the side pieces which you're gonna have to flip to get the opposite side So this piece right here goes here on the side and we're going to have to do an angle cut right here. When you do that angle cut, make sure it's outwards, not inwards. So for these small pieces, we're going to do angle cuts on both sides. Okay, so now it's time to start putting the shield together. I'm gonna go over it with the heat gun and I'm just gonna bend it a little to give it a little bit of shape. Once your glue gets tacky, you can start putting it together. The easiest way to do it is by lining up the edges first and then pressing both of those sides together. So first I'm going to be doing like a test fitting type of thing. So I'm just going to set up my pieces where they're supposed to go and then I'm going to trace them. That way I know exactly where to glue them. So as you can see, there's a small gap in between each piece, so just do that for the first four, and then for the last ones, just measure it like this. So I'm going to heat up all those middle pieces, and I'm just going to bend them a little to give them a little bit of a curve. So I've already put some glue on the first piece and I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of the pieces since I already did some markings where I'm going to glue them it shouldn't be too hard. So now we're going to grab this piece and this piece is going to go right here on top and we're going to measure it with the base that we have a flat surface right there and then those corners right here they're going to line up with the other corners. So we're going to grab this piece now and this one's more of an easy one. We're just going to line it up straight to the one next to it and if it does help you should do some markings that way you know exactly where to glue it.
I already put some glue on these pieces, so I'm just going to attach them together. Okay, so this piece right here is a little bit tricky, so just line it up here in the corner and then just trace it there and then do the same thing for the other side. So once you trace that on both sides, put on some glue and then start putting those pieces together. Have a lot of patience when you put in this piece because it could be a little bit tricky. So these pieces right here, you're just going to glue them inside here on both sides. So these are the last pieces we're going to glue on and these pieces are going to go on top of this piece right here and all you have to do is just line them up straight. So once you're done with all the gluing you should have something like this. So normally I would seal the foam with either plastic dip, Mod Podge or glue but this is a weapon prop, it's not really going to take any damage like a suit would so I'm just going to go over it with a heat gun and heat seal everything. So I'm going to be painting the shield with my airbrush and I'm going to be using this black acrylic paint but before I start using the paint I'm going to have to thin it down with either Windex, alcohol or thinner and if you don't have an airbrush you can always just use a paintbrush. I'm going to give it a light coat first and then after that I'll be doing two more coats on that. So now we're going to be doing the detail slash battle armor. And I have two suggestions for paint. We have this one from Tamiya and it is a chrome silver color. But there's also this silver metallic acrylic paint. I really like both of them but I'm really going to be using the Tamiya. So just grab your brush and put it in the paint lightly and start going over on the edges. It's like you were like kind of scratching the edges. These right here, we're going to paint them all silver. For these little pieces right here, we're only going to be painting the top silver.
The last ones we're going to paint silver are the sides of these pieces right here. When you're done with that, just continue doing the battle damage around the edges of the other pieces. Alright, so now it's time to do the straps in the back and I'm going to grab these strap adjusters that I bought at my local store for about $2 and I'm going to have one for the top and one for the bottom. And also I'm going to use some velcro that way I can adjust my size for my arm. Now I'm going to grab some elastic strap and I'm going to put it through the strap adjuster that I have and I'm just going to go about 4 inches that way I have an elastic to glue it onto the shield. And I'm going to do two of those so that way I have one for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my velcro and I want to make this velcro one whole piece. So I'm going to grab a small piece of elastic and I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. And I'm going to make two of those, that way I have one for the top and one for the bottom. So now I'm going to measure my arm with the shield, that way I know where I want to glue these straps so I can hold my arm. And then just do the same exact thing on top, that way you have two straps. And here is a finished product.